In today's video, we will be reviewing common issues when importing DWG and DXF files into visual lighting and how to fix them in AutoCAD prior to import. Please note that this video is intended for using AutoCAD to fix the issues with the drawing before importing into visual lighting. For fixing these issues inside of visual lighting, please refer to the supplemental video linked in the description of this video. The first The first issue occurs when importing an AutoCAD file into visual lighting, but it appears that nothing is on the screen. Looking at the layer manager shows that the AutoCAD layers were imported into the background items in the design environment. When visual imports an AutoCAD file, it automatically executes a zoom all command to display the entire drawing. Because I don't see the drawing, there is likely additional objects in the drawing that are far away from the main drawing, thus making it appear that nothing has been imported. To resolve this issue in AutoCAD, first unlock, unhide, and unfreeze all the layers in the drawing. Next, type in erase in the command line, then type in all to select everything in the drawing. Now, I want to remove the main drawing from the Erase Selection set. While pressing the Shift key, I will use the left mouse button to draw a selection window around the main drawing object, deselecting these objects from the Erase command. Right-clicking will complete the action. To verify that the drawing is ready for import, select the Zoom Extent button in AutoCAD to make sure that the drawing does not disappear. If the drawing does disappear, then there are still objects located far away from the main drawing. Check that all the layers are unlocked, unhidden, and unfrozen, then repeat the steps. Another common issue is when a drawing is imported into visual lighting and the line work is distorted as seen here on the screen. When I review the coordinates, I can see that the main drawing is far away from the origin of 0, 0. With visual lighting, the further drawing objects are from the 0, 0 coordinates, the more distortion will occur to the drawing objects, especially for arcs and circles. For this reason, it is recommended to move all drawing objects in AutoCAD before importing into visual lighting. As a precaution, it is recommended to repeat all the steps of the previous troubleshooting. Once that is done, type move in the command line, press the enter key, then type all to select the drawing, then set the base point with a left mouse click near the drawing. For the destination point, type 0, 0 into the command line and press the enter key. To verify the drawing is ready for import, click the Zoom Extent button in AutoCAD to make sure the drawing remains on the screen. If it does not, undo the Move command, then try the first troubleshooting steps in this video to make sure all straight items are removed. Sometimes when a file is imported into visual lighting, the coordinates are very far from 0, 0, and the orientation of the drawing is different from what is said in AutoCAD. When the file is opened in AutoCAD, it appears to be oriented correctly and oftentimes will appear to be at the 0, 0 coordinates. In this case, the issue is that the coordinate system set for the drawing is not set to the world coordinates. Visual lighting utilizes world coordinates, so alternate coordinate systems will not import correctly. To fix this in AutoCAD, type UCS, then type in world to set the coordinate system. At this point, follow the previous steps and move the drawing to 0, 0 and if desired, rotate the drawing to the proper orientation. There are times when an imported file will not have all the entities that are expected. 
When the file is opened in AutoCAD, however, the entities are visual. This often happens when there are multiple blocks in the AutoCAD file. Visual Lighting will run an explode command prior to import, but if there are too many layers of blocks, it will not explode everything and entities may be missed. When that happens, open the file in AutoCAD, type explode, then type all, and right click to complete the action. At this point, save the file and try importing into Visual again. Please note that some files will require this step to be repeated multiple times before it imports into visual lighting correctly. Other times when importing an AutoCAD file, there will be large portions of the drawing missing in visual lighting. This happens when the AutoCAD file is utilizing external reference files, also referred to as XREFs. When importing an AutoCAD file with XREFs, it is important to put the XREFs in the same file location on your computer as the main DWG or DXF file you are importing. If this file is from another party, access may not be available to the necessary XREFs, or the XREFs are located on various folders on the computer or network, making it hard to put them all in the same file location. When this happens, it is necessary to bind the XREFs to the main file. With our file open in AutoCAD, we will type in XREF to open the XREF manager, which will open a list of XREFs referenced in the file. Right-click each entry and choose the bind option. When the file is saved, those XREFs will be contained in the main DWG or DXF file and the separate XREF files will no longer be needed. If an XREF is not needed for the drawing, you can right click the entry and choose detach to remove it from the reference list. Finally, there are times when an AutoCAD file is imported and after building the project and running calculations, you can see that the file is producing zero foot candle readings. This usually means that parts of the drawing are located at various elevations. To check this, go into a southwest or elevation view to review the drawing. In this case, I can see the layers of the AutoCAD background are located at various elevations, causing the different luminaires or calculation zones to be placed at different elevations. To fix this in AutoCAD, first unlock, unhide, unfreeze all layers. Then type change, type all to select everything in the drawing, then properties, type elevation, Enter zero for the elevation of all entities, and then hit enter to complete the command. This can also be performed in visual lighting using the flatten command. Please refer to the supplemental video that is in the comments section for this video. Remember to click the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified of new instructional videos. And if you have any questions or comments, please contact us at support at visual-3d.com.